Mycelium, a mushling game from Yadco Games, is a fun goal twist on a worker placement resource management game where you are in control of a colony of adorable little mushroom buddies called mushlings that will help you gather the nutrients that they need to thrive. Mycelium will be on Kickstarter soon, and all the components you see in this video are prototypes that may be different in your game, but the rules should be the same. Will your mushlings prove mighty spreading through the forest, or will your paths be broken leaving your spores sputtering? Let's find out in Mycelium. Flip the board to either the three or four player side. Give each person a player mat, their colored path pieces, and their matching gatherer mushlings. Shuffle the mushling deck, deal four mushling cards to each player, and place the remaining cards near the mushroom. Shuffle the nutrient cards together and place the deck near the board alongside the nutrient guide card, so you know what everything means. Remember that in the three player game, you must remove all the walnut cards before shuffling. Place three spore tokens in each spore cave and each player mat. Put one nutrient token on the center tree and each nutrient tree. Take the remaining spore tokens, nutrient tokens, and the combat tokens near the board, forming the supply. The first player is the player that most recently saw a real mushroom in the wild. Each of the following players are now going to get an additional mushling card. Second player gets one, third gets two, and fourth gets three. There are also a handful of variant ways to play the game at the end of the rulebook, which may have a slightly different setup instructions. Before anyone takes their first turn, there's an exploration phase. In this first exploration phase, it is important to make sure that you are placing your gatherers on spaces that you will be able to access on your first turn, so don't get too greedy just yet. Each player in turn order must place all three of their gatherers on the board. The best options are the spore cave closest to your colony or the mushroom. After everyone has placed their starting gatherers, the first player starts taking each of the five turn phases, nutrient card phase, action phase, gather phase, place phase, and draw phase. Play continues in clockwise order until someone fills up their nutrient stash on their player mat. Flip the nutrient card on the top of the nutrient card deck, face up into a nutrient deck discard pile. Each card has instructions or rules for events that will be taking place in the forest during each turn. Any player can look through the discard pile at any time during the game. Some mushling cards can affect the deck, so stay vigilant. When the deck runs out, shuffle the discard pile and create a new nutrient card deck. During the action phase, you can do any of the following actions in any order as many times as you wish. Some of the mushling cards have actions that you can play. Follow the instructions for the action and then discard the card into the mushling card discard pile. Some cards have multiple actions. You can only choose one of the actions before discarding the card. Reactions do not count as actions and are used on other players' turns. Build a path. Each path piece costs three spores to build. Each mushling card has a spore value and each spore token is worth three spores. You can combine any number of cards and tokens to build your paths, but excess spores are not refunded, so math wisely. You must discard all mushling cards used for their spore value. You can build multiple paths at the same time, but you must place all path pieces before taking another action. Paths are placed between the hexes on the board, and multiple paths can exist between the hexes, sharing the edges that they touch. Each mushling card has a type at the top. You can use an action to discard two of the same type to either draw one new mushling card or to place a new spore token from the supply into any spore cave. On your turn, you can attack another player's path to try and remove it from the board. To do this, players will play mushling cards using their combat values to defeat the opposition. The attacker will announce the path that they are attacking and lay down a mushling card face down. The defender will either play their own mushling card face down or sacrifice the path. If both players have laid down cards, they're revealed and any player can now add combat tokens or reinforcement mushling cards to change the values. Whoever has the greatest combat value wins. If the attacker wins, the path piece is removed and the attacker gains a combat token. If the defender wins, 
The path piece stays in place and the defender draws a new Mushling card. Ties go to the defender. If any of the Mushling cards that were played have reactions, those are resolved after the combat is over, starting with the attacker. All used cards are then discarded. After the action phase, you now get to gather resources from the board. On each location where you have placed a gatherer mushling, you have the opportunity to collect nutrients or spore tokens. First, you have to check that you have a bonded path on the hex of your gatherer. A bonded path is any path piece that has its long side touching the hex. Your colony hex always has six bonded paths surrounding it, one of which connects to your spore cave. If you have a bonded path and a gatherer on a hex with resources, you can collect one resource for each gatherer you have there, but you can only collect as many resources as you have bonded edges. For example, let's say that the oak tree has two nutrients. If you have built a path to that oak tree that has one bonded path along the edge, and you have two gatherers there, you can only collect one of the two resources because you only have one bonded path. Place each nutrient that you have gathered in the leftmost slot of your player mat and add spore tokens to your personal supply. If you have mushlings in the mushroom, each of them will grant you a mushling card from the mushling deck. All of your gatherer mushlings on the board are returned to your colony, even if they did not gather anything this turn. You can now take your return gatherers from your colony and place them on any nutrient tree, spore cave, the center tree, or the mushroom for your next turn. Reminder that you can place the gatherers on any of these hexes, even if you do not have a bonded path there quite yet. To end your turn, draw one Mushling card from the Mushling deck. Check to see if you have more than seven cards in your hand, and discard down to seven if you have too many. The game ends immediately when a player gathers their 10th nutrient to win the game. And that's Mycelium! You can see us play this and many other board games live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7pm Eastern Time at twitch.tv slash boardgamehouse.